What's going on, music fans? My name's Corey Komori, and welcome to Lyric Breakdowns here on the Breakdown Channel. And in today's video, we will be discussing the lyrics for Don't Talk to Strangers by Dio. Released in 1983 off of the Holy Diver album, Don't Talk to Strangers tackles the themes of repression under religion and the struggle of finding one's individuality under that suffocating mindset. The song acts as a cautionary tale being told from the perspective of a parental figure. That parental figure is issuing commands and accounts to an unspecified listener about the dangers of experiencing life to its fullest. The first verse opens up with the lines, Don't talk to strangers, cause they're only there to do you harm. Don't write in starlight, cause the words may come out real. Don't hide in doorways. You may find the key that opens up your soul. Don't go to heaven, because it's really only hell. Don't smell the flowers. They're an evil drug to make you lose your mind. Don't dream of women, because they'll only bring you down. The soft, almost falsetto tone the first half of the verse is sung gives you the sensation that the speaker is trying to ease the listener into realizing the frightening nature of exploring outside of one's comfort zone. And as the verse continues, the speaker slowly but surely starts to change their tone. The tone is changed to a more impassioned and aggressive way of relaying this message, insinuating that the speaker is almost like a frustrated parent trying to talk to a stubborn child. Now, being the vocal master that Ronnie James Dio was, he's able to perfectly bounce between these two personas, giving the listener a fully realized visual of the scene of this song and the characters that are a part of this scene. Being that he can just bounce back and forth so seamlessly, it really makes the listener understand what's going on in the song clearly, and it makes the message more impactful. And as the song continues, we're placed directly into the perspective of the character we'll call the child. And these lyrics here really portray what is going through the mind of this listener as this speaker is hammering down all of these points onto their head. Hey you, you know me. You can touch me. I'm real. I'm forever the one that lets you look and see. Can you feel me? I'm danger. I'm the stranger. And I, I'm darkness. I'm anger. I'm pain. I'm the master. The evil song you sing inside your brain. Drive you insane. Don't talk. Don't let them inside your mind. Run away. Run away. Go. Don't let them in your mind or catch your soul. To me, what's being painted here is the internal struggle that the listener is going through. Over time, this listener has been told that their desires, their hopes, their dreams uh, are wrong. They are to be avoided. They're something that they should feel ashamed of. And that's something that is present oftentimes in relationships that are heavily steeped in fanatical religion. And it's no secret that Ronnie James Dio always had kind of a love-hate relationship with religion. He was always able to see its positive sides and how it could bring out positivity in different people. But then there was also that negative side that he always struggled with, the fact that, you know, and oftentimes religion tries to keep people under control for its own benefits. It tries to keep people afraid of things instead of going out and experiencing life to its fullest and growing as an individual. Growing up Catholic, he always used to talk about how he was terrified of the nuns that would walk around and, you know, hit kids with rulers uh, if they were to misbehave and that, you know, if you were going to do something, if you did something that was wrong, you were going to hell and that, you know, everything was to be feared. It was to be feared to keep everyone in line. And eventually he was able to get away from that mindset. And going back to the song, the listener has been told that everything that um, he or she has desired 
and a long to do is wrong and should be avoided. And over time, this develops a negative mindset. The listener's sense of self is being dismantled as the speaker continues to pummel them with these fears and anxieties. Yet the listener in this section of the song is trying to encourage themselves to not listen to the words of the speaker, to hold on to their sense of self, and to break free from that struggle and that tyranny. You know, that's where the lines, run away, run away, go, really hit home in this song. Remove yourself from that negativity, remove yourself from the fear mongering and the oppressive nature of those who do not want you to be the best version of yourself and to explore in order to find that best version of yourself. The song ends with a slight variation of the first verse, only this time when the verse ends, we hear run away, run away now, which is the listener encouraging themselves to remove themselves from the negativity of the speaker. Overall, this song is pretty lyrically straightforward, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't have depth to what it's saying. It doesn't necessarily mean that that lessens the impact of what it's saying. If anything, it makes it easy for a general audience to go out and receive that message and really take it to heart and hopefully apply it to aspects of their life. I really think that this is one of the strongest songs that Dio ever wrote. It doesn't have the same kind of magical feel that a lot of his more power metal inspired songs had, but at the same time, it does the same basic thing that Heaven and Hell does for me whenever I listen to that song. It inspires me. It, it inspires me to remain an individual, remain true to myself and what my core values and beliefs are. And that's something that isn't as present in modern day metal music and me uh, music as a whole. You know, that encouraging message of it's okay to be who you are. You don't have to put others down in order to build yourself up. And at the end of the day, you should always be striving to grow more physically, mentally, spiritually. But what do you guys think? What other meanings can be taken from this song? Please leave a comment below, let me know. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe. It definitely helps me out. And I'm sorry I haven't been putting as many videos out as I used to in the past. I'm gonna try to step up my game here, put out some more lyric videos since it seems like some of you guys have been enjoying those. So look forward to more videos in the future. I've been Corey Kamori. Thank you guys as always, and I'll see you next time. No!